Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'll go over the latest and greatest way to beat Riven as quickly as possible. If you like this video and find value of it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. With many of the recent weapon changes, the cheeses that we used to use on Riven have changed somewhat. And one of the easiest ones you can do now is actually with swords. And with swords coming back even more aggressively in the next season, this will be a good time to kind of test this out. And I'll go over that in this video. To begin with, to get to Riven quickly, you want to go to the wish wall within the raid. To get there, follow this path that I'm going to show you on screen. Next, shoot this pattern. Again, I'll show that on screen. And then step on the plate. Once you do this, your team will die and you'll be brought to the Riven encounter. Once in the encounter, you have to have everyone step on the plate and you'll drop down by Riven to the main part of the encounter. The encounter itself is split into two rooms. One's a yellow room and one's a blue room. What I do first is I go in the blue room just for consistency's sakes. You don't have to do that, but if you're going to follow the steps in this video, it probably makes sense to do that. Once you're in this room, ads will spawn, and while you're killing the ads, you'll look at the front of the room for a shadow to pass the wall in front of the room. If you see that, you're good. That means Riven's going to come into this room and put her, put her claws down. You'll just wait here. If you don't see that immediately, run to the following spot that I'm going to show you on screen, and that will warp you to the yellow room to do the encounter. It's normally a good idea to have someone parked in the spot just in case this happens so everyone can get through quickly. There's another path that I'll show you on screen that you follow. It's basically going through a tree and down through some holes until you get to the yellow room. Once you're in the yellow or blue room and Riven has come out with her claws on the ground, it's time to set for the easy kill. And in fact, you'll want to try to start setting up and getting ready for that even prior to that. To do this, you'll want one person that runs tractor cannon, and if possible, a bubble titan and a well. The well isn't for DPS. Remember, well and bubble on top of each other do not stack anymore. It's basically to keep the team healed as you're working to complete the encounter. You can actually start this early if you want to before she comes out. The bubble you place right on Riven's Claw, similar to the Axis encounter in Wrath of the Machine if you've ever done that raid before. And if you haven't, you should do that raid. It's a ton of fun. You'll also want as many swords with Whirlwind as possible. If those swords have a Void Burn, that's even better. Additional damage can be done by putting Taken Spec or Boss Spec on the sword and if you have the Reverie Dawn armor that's Forsaken. And again, if you can, also have Transcendent Blessing because that will help heal you because the Reverie Dawn armor will also make you take some additional damage. With all this in place, you just have to go to work with the Tractor Cannon constantly helping buff DPS and the sword using their heavy attack. Good DPS for this runs per character around 500k to around 600k or a little bit over per person in this encounter. That's what I was getting. And that's really it. Again, it's pretty simple and foolproof if you can get the timing down. I'm not going to go through the rest of the encounter, but this is just to give you an idea. If you do want to get through Riven, and again, if you're trying to get like 1,000 voices or things like that and want to do it on three characters, this is one of the easiest ways to do that. Again, I hope this video has helped you out. And if it did, again, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. And again, you can get into the community. We can talk about which videos you want to see next. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.